The third phase is called transcendence. And in transcendence, the goal of this particular phase of the process is to take this idea that many people have heard that we're not human beings that have occasional spiritual experiences, rather we are spiritual beings having a human experience. But in this phase, we want to not attempt to intellectually grasp that idea. You do that already. Intellectually, you understand what that little ditty is attempting to communicate. But in this phase of the process, we want to turn that into our lived experience so that life is perpetual meditation. Life is an unending flow of joy and bliss and happiness and well-being and resiliency installed at the factory by the manufacturer, part of the original <laughs> equipment. And when you're at that phase, life is still going to throw challenges at you. I am currently living, as I record this video, with an active cancer diagnosis. I have a procedure coming up in a couple of weeks where I'm going to find out how bad it is. And yes, of course, there has been anxiety and fear and trepidation arising. They've arisen in me. I have experienced those, but I've experienced them as a transient thought that comes and goes. And I recognize the real me, the authentic me, doesn't have cancer. It wasn't born and it isn't going to die. This probably seems like nuance, and I get that. This is, of all of the work that we do, the hardest to understand intellectually. In fact, I'm merely going to suggest it's impossible to understand intellectually. However, <laughs> it's very easy to understand experientially. It's kind of like, think about riding a bike. You could read book after book after book about riding a bike and how you got to find the right balance. And once you get the momentum, you get inertia kind of getting you there. But until you've gotten on a bike and started to attempt to ride one and then have that balance click in, it's all just theory. It's, it, it's, it's mental masturbation is really what it is. And the difference here is coming to the understanding that we have a body and that we have a mind, but those are not us. Conditioning identifies us with the body and with the mind. But remember what Einstein told us, one of his so many great little nuggets of wisdom that he left us with. The rational mind is a faithful servant. That's our intellect. Intuitive mind, that's wisdom, is a sacred gift. But we live in a society that worships the servant and has forgotten the gift. Phase three is all about making that shift, removing the over-identification that we have with ego. Ego is a construct. It's something that we've made up. But as you go through this process, one of the things that you're likely to discover is that we spend an awful lot of time in the care and feeding of the story of us. But woefully little time experiencing the authentic us. And that's what phase three is all about. Hopefully that brings a little clarity. Bye-bye for now.